Hi guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today we will be talking about what are divisors and factors. So these are a few questions that I gathered about divisors and factors, and we'll be doing them on the next slides together. A divisor is a number that divides another number either completely or with a remainder. So for example, if I do 12 divided by three, which is four, three is our divisor. Another example is if I do 12 divided by five, two goes up there, 10, two. So in this case, five is our divisor. This is our remainder. And this is our quotient. Now, what are factors? Factors aren't that different from divisors. So the first definition I have here with me is that factors are the numbers that we get that we multiply to get another number. And another definition that I have, it's a number that divides another number completely, which means that there is no remainder. For example, four times three is 12, where four and three are factors. One times 12 is 12, and two times six is also 12. Now, these here, in the box, these are our factors. And to prove that they're factors, let's try dividing them by t with 12. So if I take two, we get six here, which gives us a remainder of zero. Another example would be um, four being our divisor and three up there, so 12 and zero. So three, four, two and six are factors of 12. Now our next question is, what is the difference between divisors and factors? And we in fact answered this in the definitions of divisors and factors. The only difference is that divisors can have remainders, whereas factors cannot. Now, our last question here is, if an integer a is divisible by another integer b, then what is the quotient, what is the divisor, and can a over b be decimal, yes or no? So let's start with the first question. What is the quotient? Now, the quotient is basically a divided by b. The quotient is a result from the division. So if I take an example, say, what if a is 4 and b is 2, then our quotient would be 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Now, the next part of this question asks, what is the divisor? And our divisor would be b. Taking the above example, if I do 4 divided by 2, 4 always goes inside here, 2 stays out, and our quotient would be 2, so that would become, our, our remainder would be 0. The last question is, can A over B ever be a decimal, yes or no? Now, when I first tried this question, I said yes, but that's false. And a trick here is that we have to read the question properly, and it says if a if an integer a is divisible by another integer b that means that they divide and the remainder is zero so a over b can never be a decimal so the answer for this would be no thanks for watching this lesson if you like this video please subscribe to my channel algebra star or visit algebrastar.com once again, thanks, stay safe.